The Mets are not expected to sign Kumar Rocker to a deal. Their first rounder and the 11th overall pick of the draft because of concerns with his elbow. What's up guys, it's Tom here. Welcome back to the channel. This is huge news from the draft. The signing deadline is today at 5 p.m. Eastern. So all the draftees have to get a deal done before that deadline. And there are concerns about Kumar Rocker's right elbow, his throwing elbow, whether it is healthy or not. This is a developing story and there could be a quick 180 where the Mets sign him but Jeff Passan is reporting that a deal is unlikely and the Mets are not expected to sign him so don't flame me if a deal actually does get done I'm just gonna talk about this development with Kumar Rocker and the Mets my reaction to this story is that it is crazy to see Kumar Rocker potentially not get signed at all uh, after he slipped in the draft to begin with. I mean, if you go back to last year, at the beginning of the season this year, or even two years ago, you're talking about a guy that could have been a consensus number one pick in the draft. So to see him slip in the draft to number 11 and then not get signed at all, is pretty wild to me. So let me know down in the comments what you think of this whole Kumar Rocker situation, what's gonna happen with him if he doesn't sign with the Mets. So from the Mets end of things, they have three options. They can either sign Rocker to the six million dollar deal that's been negotiated they can try to renegotiate for a lesser deal or a third option is to forfeit this draft pick not sign kumar rocker and then they get that pick back next year and get a compensatory pick at the 11th spot in the draft to me this sounds like they don't get their pick back from this year they'll just get a pick at the same spot that they had this year in the next year's draft and there has been a situation like this in the past in 2014 with the Astros and their number one overall pick first round pick and number one overall pick Brady Aiken was picked by the Astros but in a post draft physical it revealed that he had some elbow issues in his throwing arm and the Astros lowered their offer but then Aiken rejected the offer altogether so a situation like that is happening in front of our eyes with Kumar Rocker and the Mets. Now, obviously the Mets, it's in their best interest to not get damaged goods, uh, especially signing him to a $6 million signing bonus as well. Maybe there are signs of some elbow issues because Rocker's velo was down during the season after consistently throwing over 96. Uh, he was thrown between 92 and 94 and some people in the Mets organization saw an issue with that i guess and also some high pitch count high usage but that probably also led to the decrease in velo as well so it may not have been the elbow issue to begin with but nonetheless it seems like the mets are not going to sign kumar rocker i just want to make a quick video talking about it because i know there's a lot of mets fans and it'd be a pretty big blow to not be able to sign Kumar Rocker as well. Once again, make sure to like the video and to subscribe to the channel for more MLB content. Let me know your thoughts about Kumar Rocker and the Mets potentially not signing him at all. With that being said, thank you guys for watching the video. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.